Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm one of the therapists at Solstice Physio. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about biofeedback. So here we use a couple of different types of biofeedback. I'm going to talk about this machine today. So what biofeedback means is it's just a, it's just recording your service level muscle activity. So some patients have overactive muscles and some patients have underactive muscles. We would use this machine, so if you are overactive, to teach you how to down train, so how to relax those muscles, and if you fall under the lower tone, so underactive muscles, how to engage those muscles and have them be more active. So an example is someone who is overactive. It could be someone who has pain with sex, pain with inserting a tampon, um, pain with speculum assessments, constipation, hesitancy with peeing. There's many other diagnoses, but just some examples. What we would do is we would put the sensors on just to see where your baseline is at. And if your muscles are overactive, we would walk you through ways to relax them. And then we could try inserting something like a dilator to help you see what happens. Like, do you contract these muscles in response of something being inserted? Another example that we use this with is if someone, let's say, had hesitancy when they started to pee or having difficulty with bowel movements, like they felt something was there but they couldn't get it out, it could be that when you're sitting on the toilet, your pelvic floor is not relaxed. So we would put the sensors on you, we would put you in a toileting position and just see like what is happening and can we walk you through how to relax those muscles to help make going to the bathroom easier. For someone who has lower tone pelvic floor or underactive muscles, we would use this machine and kind of do the opposite. We would see, can we teach you how to contract your pelvic floor? So let's say you were coughing and you're leaking. We could see, is your pelvic floor activating when it's supposed to, to kind of prevent that pressure from causing your bladder to leak? And so the different, we use different sensors with this machine. One of them is are these, so they're external, they're kind of sticky and you would hook them up to the machine. There's one called a lead that's just kind of there, that one goes on your bone. And then these two, typically we put one on each side of your external rectum. And then from there, that is measuring your pelvic floor muscles. We also have an internal rectal probe and we have an internal vaginal probe. We don't always use these, but sometimes they can be a little more accurate, a little more useful. But for most people, they, this is just enough. Uh, so that's it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Thank you.